Good afternoon, church family. Thank you for joining me on this Good Friday for a midday devotion. Our staff has provided these devotions each day this week in hopes that you will use them to spend some time with God, draw near to Him, and prepare your heart to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus this coming Easter Sunday. Good Friday is a day that we celebrate the death of Jesus. Uh, John the Baptist said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus was placed upon a cross at Calvary's Hill, and he died for the forgiveness of the sins of the world. The Bible tells us that he didn't come into the world to condemn the world. He came into the world that through him, the world might be saved. And for those of us who are followers of Jesus, that is especially important. Um, you know, one of my favorite stories that comes from the Bible is pertaining to the last to that day, that Good Friday when Jesus died on the cross. Uh, the Bible says that he was placed on the cross in between two criminals. Uh, one of those criminals looked at Jesus and chastised him. And the Bible specifically says in the book of Luke that he looked at Jesus and he said, are you not the Christ? He said, save yourself and us. But the other thief, he was the one who recognized his sin and knew he needed God's mercy. He said, do you not fear God since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? He says, and we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. He said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said, truly I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. That thief appealed to God for forgiveness. And on that day, God forgave him. All he had to do was cry out to God and say, remember me when you come into your kingdom. It was a plea for mercy. And Jesus looked at him and said, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus purchased that man's redemption through his death on the cross. And the same can be said for you and me. That's why Good Friday is so amazing. It's the day that we celebrate Jesus's death when uh, he paid the penalty for our sins. And so I just want to remind you of three things today that I think are important uh, as we reflect upon what God did on our behalf on that Good Friday. Number one is this, we are forgiven. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Um, there is nothing that we have done, can do, or uh, nothing that can happen in our life that can remove us from the grace of God. When Jesus died on the cross, he died to forgive us, and in him we are forgiven. Uh, the second thing that I think it's important for us to remember is Sunday is coming. You say, why is Friday good? Well, Friday is, is good. Good Friday is good because Sunday is coming. Uh, we know that Jesus rose from the dead, and through his resurrection, he provides us hope. And so we need to remember that we're forgiven. We should remember that Sunday is coming. And number three, our future is secure. There are a lot of things in this world that we just, we just don't know about. Um, we are living in uncertain times. We're living in difficult times. Uh, but I'm so grateful that God purchased for us forgiveness of sins he gives us, through Jesus, an opportunity to be able to have a relationship with him. And in Jesus, we have a future that is secure. All of this was accomplished through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, we, as a result of our sin, have a debt that we can't pay. Can you imagine someone coming in and writing a check that eliminated all of your debt? How incredible would that be? Well, that is, in fact what Jesus has done for you and me. He has, he has paid the price. He has paid our debt. We have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, but in Christ, we are forgiven. And in Christ, we know that there is resurrection hope. And in Christ, we know that our future is secure. So I just wanna remind you, church family, today, on this Good Friday, I want you to rem be reminded of the suffering that Christ endured on our behalf. He died to give us eternal life. And I don't care what you've done. I don't care how bad you've been. The guilt is taken away by Christ Jesus and his accomplishment on the cross. So I hope that you take some time today to thank God for what he has done for you in Jesus. And remember, if you've sinned, 
The Bible says, confess your sins to him. He is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you of all iniquity. May we today live in the forgiveness of Christ. May we live knowing that the hope of Sunday is coming and there is a better day ahead. And may we live and remember today that our future is secure. I hope you'll join uh, us tomorrow, our staff, join our church, uh, become a part of uh, Unplug Saturday. Tomorrow, we're going to unplug from social media and we're going to spend the entire day focusing on preparing our hearts to celebrate Jesus on Easter Sunday. And then I hope you'll join us Sunday morning at 1030 when we will gather together online and celebrate the fact that Jesus lives. He lives indeed. God bless you.